morning. Good morning. I always have to run over and start the camera when I forget to start it. Yeah, we got things going on all over the place here. But it's all good. It's it Friday. Is. It is Friday. How nice is that? That was awesome. The alarm went off this morning. Yes. And you didn't get out of bed. I didn't. How come? Guilty as charged. You know, I just said today would be a nice day to just stay in bed. <laughs> and so we did. And so we did. We yes. went to the gym instead. We'll go to the gym tomorrow instead. Right. What would have you done today? Um, well, I would have done legs. So okay. I'll be doing legs tomorrow. Okay. And I wouldn't have done arms today, so I'll do arms tomorrow. Right. So it's all good. No harm, no foul. Exactly. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Laura. See you out there. Um, what are you having for breakfast? I'm having oatmeal. Yay. I know you're shocked. Surprising. <laughs> um, and then you know, oatmeal has the usual, nothing new. Um, so basically everything that's in our journals is in my oatmeal this morning. Do you want turmeric in your oatmeal because you're not having tea? Yeah, I guess I will. Okay. Yes, I'm not having tea this morning. It doesn't feel that cold, so I didn't feel like having tea. I don't know. Bizarre. Fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. a little bizarre. All good. Um, let's see. What do we have? Do we have plans this weekend? Uh, well, um... We might be going out tonight. We might be going out tonight. Let's, well, we probably will go out tonight. Just no matter where we go out tonight. Right, yeah. Um, and then we will have a gym adventure tomorrow. Right. Um, then we will, uh... Cinnamon for you? Okay, sure. Um, I don't know, do I feel like we have something else going on tomorrow, do we, or am I imagining? I don't know. I have a hair appointment today, I'm very excited about that. She does, yay. Wait. Uh, yeah, yay. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of your oatmeal, uh, Laura? Are you enjoying it? I know that's our influence. We made, we're making you eat oatmeal every morning. Yes. <laughs> we do. Well, uh, if, we, if we keep influencing people in that direction, I think we're okay. Right? It's all good. Mm -hmm. um, so we're trying something new today. Rather than giving you a separate topic on Fridays, we're going to do an overview of the week. Right. So um, you guys can let us know if you like that or if you don't like that. Because I do have several topics. I'm like, oh, we can talk about this. Oh, we can talk about that. But I wrote them down so we can talk about them um, next week. Next week, right. So I thought today we'd do an overview. So you see in the, in the list up there that um, on Monday, we talked about the book, The China Study. We did. And we told you on Monday that it was um, a tome. A tome, yes. But if you're interested in the science, like the hardcore science about um, food and its relation to human disease, such as heart disease, diabetes, cancer, all of those things, it's a great book, scientific-wise. It's, it's a real good, strong argument for being on a whole food, plant-based diet, quite honestly. It really is, if, if you like the science. Ah, right. Kristen's eating oatmeal in the mornings, too. All right, Yay! good job, Kristen. We love that. Yes. Um, so, it's a great book. It's definitely a challenge to read. It's not It's not an easy read by any stretch. Um, I, did, I did take a whole bunch of notes, and I am going to type those up, and they will be available on the... Um, Members. resources yeah. page for members so I can't promise you how soon they'll be typed up because I'm still working on typing up my class notes from when I took the classes at Cornell to get certified in plant-based nutrition so uh, I need I need to be able to hire someone to do to type up my notes right but our, our journey is not there yet no not so there yet right now it's, I'm doing it when I have time so um, definitely would recommend the China study if you have time to read and you like the science yes otherwise just trust us when I say, I've read it, it's a great book. Yeah. <laughs> on Tuesday, we talked about eggs, and we told you that eggs are the number one source of cholesterol in the American diet. Right. And because they are animal protein, they of course come with all of the drama and stuff that comes with eating animal protein and the you know, cancer and diabetes and heart disease that are caused by animal protein in the diet. Uh -huh. um, we of course recommend that you don't eat eggs, well, um, for us, dairy and eggs are like one, two, and they switch back and forth as to which one we recommend least. Uh, yes, exactly. Um, and as I mentioned when we talked about it, is I used to eat 10 egg whites every morning yep. when I was competing. Yep. And I think about that now. That's a lot of eggs. It's a lot of eggs. You know? And we told you that there is some argument. The egg industry likes to argue, well, you know, there's healthy stuff in eggs. And while that's true, you'd have to get nine. You'd have to eat nine eggs to get the same amount of healthy ingredient from an egg that you get from one tablespoon of spinach. Right. So we recommend you eat your greens instead. Right. The greens are the way to go. Plus, you get the, the um, starches and all the other things. You the buy. benefits, the nutrients from greens. Right. Yeah. So we definitely think that eggs and dairy definitely one two in the things that are horrible for humans to eat. Mm -hmm. um, on Wednesday, we talked about alkaline versus acidic diets. 
Right. And we pointed out that while people worry about you know acid in their water and acid in all kinds of interesting places, um, they don't consider the fact that animal proteins actually create an acidic environment in right. your body. And that your body uses protein, often your muscle protein, mm -hmm. to break that down and create a more alkaline environment. And so the, the new theory is, and this is a theory, this has not been studied um, extensively yet, but the new theory is that while we assume that as you age, you, you get weaker, you, you lose muscle, right. and that your kidney function declines, the reality is now they're thinking that it's the amount of animal protein in the Western diet that is breaking down the muscle to um, reduce that acidity, and then it has to go through the kidneys to get out, and that wear and tear on the kidneys is what makes the kidneys um, age poorly. Right, and go after muscle tissue. And, so if you if you can reduce the amount of animal protein you're taking in, you're going to create a naturally more alkaline environment because most plants are alkaline, and even plants that you think about as sour. Like for me, I think about like oranges or grapefruits as al you know, acidic that because of the fiber in them they don't react to your body the same way that animal proteins right. do right. so plant a plant diet is going to give you a much more alkaline uh, body and that's going to be healthier for you we, you know we've seen a lot of information even in mainstream media about alkaline being better than acidic for your body and now um, there's science that says that animal proteins are very acidic. Right. And knowing now that I could, that there's possibly I can maintain my muscle while I age, I'm going back to bodybuilding. I made it. <laughs> Why are you so strange? <laughs> <laughs> and then yesterday we talked about um, the fear of failure and not wanting to start yet another diet that you can't maintain. Right. And that came directly from someone who took the survey that we have on our Facebook page. We have a survey for health on there. And someone said one of her biggest fears is that she'll try this and she'll just yet again fail. Right. And we talked about how on this diet there is no real failure. That Instead we suggested that you go ahead and give yourself some reasonable goals, whether it's adding plants or reducing meat intake, mm -hmm. and move through it slowly. Whereas in a diet, you're like either on a diet or you're not on a diet. Right. Um, with whole food plant-based, it's something that becomes kind of a, a growth process. A lifestyle too. And a lifestyle. And so you can't fail at it. It's just, you know, some days you eat better than others. And as, you know, we've told you, it took us nine months to get to the point where right. we changed our paradigm about food to the point that we're whole food plant-based without thinking about it. It just kind of happens now. And the thing is too, and, and the beauty of this type of lifestyle is there is no counting calories. <laughs> Russ you know? really loves that. I love that. So you can eat, 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 and when you're tired of eating, you can eat some more. Okay. All right. And with that, with the ability to kind of change your paradigm, the consistency becomes easier. So the question I asked yesterday is when, when someone says to me, well, how do you consistently eat plants? So the reverse of asking that would be, well, how do you consistently eat meat? Right. And so it's easy to eat meat because that's the normal standard Western diet. And so people say, well, that's easy. Well, once you learn to, that whole food plant-based is just your way of eating, that becomes easy as well. Right. And I think, too, I, I see a lot of people who use, we've talked about this before, they use food as a reward and they see it as a reward. So if they aren't eating super rich, drenched in fat, butter, salt, sugar foods they feel like they're being deprived right. and that is a psychological um change that you has to be made and we've talked about how you know i can help people with that if you're interested in mm. working with me and doing a consultation one thing i did forget to talk about yesterday when we were talking about um failure and diets and consistency was self-discipline because that's another thing that came up um in a survey was was the ability to have self-discipline and i think that that becomes more of a it's not self-discipline if it's just the way you are. It just, it's just, it's simple. It's not like you're depriving yourself. It's not like you're forcing yourself to do it. Right. It's not, oh my God, I have to do this. This is so challenging. So I don't, I mean, do you feel like we have self-discipline around eating plants? Um, well, I mean, so for me, I, not even for a second, miss animal products at all. Right. So I don't feel like I'm depriving myself of anything. Um, you know, and I like the food that we eat. I think it's very tasty. Yeah. You know, I think some, some things that we eat are rich because of how we prepare them. Mm-hmm. I agree. So, um, I just think it's a mindset that, you know, animal products, 
and we, we've talked about this, is correlated with wealth and is cor you know, correlated with success. success. Mm -hmm. And you know, and it's because the kings and the queens and royalty used to get to eat that when the peasants had to eat the, you know, the plant. Right. Uh, and when you look through history, and we've seen this in the documentaries, or maybe it was a book, they talked about, yeah, well, they died earlier, though. The kings and queens. All, all the kings and queens and royalty were dying while all the peasants were living long lives. Well, and the kings and queens were dying of diseases of affluence. Right. Which we've talked about are the heart disease, the diabetes, the obesity. Right. And the peasants were dying of diseases of lack. Right. Like all, you know, pestilence and right, whatnot. Right, that type of stuff. Right, so right. The, the, the diseases are very different between affluence and lack. Right. And I think I feel like, you know, it's like saying to someone, do you have self-discipline not to eat soap? Well, no, nobody eats soap. Right, That's exactly. not a thing. And so for us, it's not self-discipline to not eat meat. It's just how we, we don't happen to eat that way anymore. Right, right. Um, and in the beginning, it wasn't even self-discipline. Because you know, if you've been here since we started doing these lives in October, that we used to go out and have you know a little burger now and then. And so we didn't deprive ourselves of it. It just became something where it was like, you know, I don't want to eat that. It doesn't taste as good. I'm not getting the pleasure out of it that I was. And... I know in my mind it's not good for me. I was going to so, say, the more knowledge we got, the more we're yeah. like, no, it's not, it's just not It's something. not worth it. And you even know. like there was a, there were some nachos we used to like to eat, and the last time I had it, I was like, that cheese tastes like plastic. And, well, that's the other thing, right? Your taste buds change. And mm -hmm. the things you think are tasty now, because your body's used to fats and sugars, I mean, and salt, well, sugars and salts, that when you stop adding those things, and your body's, your taste buds start coming back alive. Right. You know, you realize that that stuff tastes like plastic or it tastes nasty. And then right. the, and the whole greens and the whole vegetables and all that stuff start tasting really good to you. Right. I guess that's why I don't miss the other stuff because, I mean, these, these things taste... These are almonds. Almonds, they taste sweet. I mean, they taste so good. Yeah, yeah. well, and you can taste, you can feel the fat in them that yes. you never used to be able to feel before. Yeah. Good morning, Sean, or good evening from yes, Kuala Sean. Lumpur. Good yes. to see you. Exactly. Nice to have you back. Uh, and the other thing, too, is, I mean, let's face it, there are no processed, well, at least not yet, it's, I'm sure it's coming, plant foods in the supermarket. Like there's no frozen, already ready to make dinners. and Not yet. And, and I think a lot of You them, do see some boxed things, like protein bars it's that say plant-based on it's them. It's starting to Those happen. aren't healthy either. Right, they're starting, yes, they're exactly. But my point being is that eating animal products is convenient because so many things are made around them. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And so it becomes convenient. And I think people look at, well, I can no longer just go grab this or I can't go grab that because it's all animal-based. Right. You know, so I think that's also a challenge. But um, It's true. We don't find it to be a challenge ourselves. So. No, not anymore. It's going well, Sean. We're having a, uh, a great time doing this. Yes. Laura's saying there are products that are coming. And yeah, yeah. it's true. Yeah. Well, I mean, no doubt. I mean, <coughs> what's the food industry going to do when more and more people go to a whole food plant-based? They're going to look for the money. Yes. So... Uh, we got to get big cauliflower, big broccoli to start, you know, advertising. Yes, maybe it'll more. sponsor us. <laughs> that would it's be only, fun. They certainly don't need a big budget to sponsor us. That's Not right sure. now. So um, I also wanted to share with you guys that um, we did, I did set up an Instagram account. I have put nothing on it. I haven't posted anything yet. I just set it up yesterday. Mm -hmm. So our and our journey to health is on Instagram. So many of you have been fussing at us to do that. So I did that and I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I don't exactly know how it works, so I'm going to have to learn. Yes. Did you have anything you wanted to add in summary to what we talked about this week about either the China study, eggs, acidic versus as alkaline, I can talk, or um, failure, consistency, and self-discipline? Well, in summary, I like to say I have no summary. <laughs> well, that's productive. You know what we have to say in summary? Eat plants. Eat plants. <laughs> no, in summary, have a great weekend. That's what I want to say in summary, yeah, Absolutely. Right? Enjoy it. Eat plants, like Robin said, and have a good time. Yep. Eat whole foods. That's right. Absolutely. All right. So um, if you're getting value out of these, please do like and share them. It's always good to see all of you. Thank you for being here on Friday. Yep. Um, join our website. Join, uh, like our Facebook page. What else am I supposed to say? Oh, join, what's it called? Subscribe to our oh. YouTube channel. I'm like, I don't know. Subscribe then, to our website. Did you say that already? I, I did. Okay. Our website. Join our website. And then whatever you're supposed to do on Instagram, I don't know if it's like or follow, follow maybe. Right. I don't know. Whatever it is, yeah, follow. Instagram. Do that one. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think that's all I've got. That's all i got, too. All right. Thanks, all right. guys. So we'll let you guys enjoy your weekend by saying eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, Have a good guys. weekend.